Keep watching Charis TV. Yes. I want to pray for you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I want to pray for this marriage. Amen. Because when I was praying for this man, I saw this woman. Amen. Mm. Mm. You know, Satan is fighting your house also. Mm. There's a lot of challenges Amen. that are there. Amen. And I saw that there's a blessing that will come. Amen. Amen. You will move from where you stay. Amen. Amen. From Centurion. This is a sea Centurion here. Amen. And you will go to a better place. Amen. Amen. Because this lady, Thank you, Jesus. she has been crying. Yes. You have been crying for a better place. Amen. Amen. So don't worry. This is the time of your blessings. Thank you, Jesus. But from today, don't cry. This marriage will have peace. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying for peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. This marriage must end. Amen. Because of the church. Amen. In Jesus' name. You're blessed. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my family who are located by the men of God who ministered upon their lives. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Israel Beringo Beni. Uh, we reside in St. Chiron. I'm with my wife, Rwanda, and our daughter, Abigail. I confirm the prophecy to be true. We live in St. Chiron. Uh, we are involved in agriculture besides being pastors, my wife and I. Our residence is very small for the things that we are uh, in involved with at the moment. So for, for some probably three years, even, even longer, my wife has been uh, 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 asking for us to move. However, we're trusting God for a miracle that God will bless us because he promised that if we seek him first and his uh, kingdom and his righteousness and all shall be added to us. So we, we prayed, I mean, for God to show us where we need to move to. Uh, after praying for some time, probably eight months or even a year, we're not sure where, when we move, we need to move to. Then God confirmed, so we know where we need to move to. We're just trusting God, waiting on him to release the provisions for us to be able to uh, move where we're currently staying, to move to a place that is bigger, we'll be able to have our residence there and also be able to, uh, to be involved in agriculture. Yes. So the prophecy is true. Amen. God has spoken. And how do you feel that the man of God located you today and ministered upon your life regarding a desire that you've been desiring for almost three years now? Look, we, we, we prayed, my wife and I, I mean, for the Holy Spirit to locate us. We came expectant, knowing that when we pray, God says, He answered the prayers of the righteous. So we prayed, we trusted Him, and we had faith that uh, through the Holy Spirit, God will speak uh, through the man of God to locate us and for God to speak to us about our life and about our desires and also about the future. How would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? I will, I will encourage them uh, that they must hold on to their faith uh, because God says I have a plan for you to prosper you and to give you the future that you hope for. So we were standing on that word and we, our faith was not wavering. We knew that God at his perfect time he will bless us according to what he has promised. So we're holding on to the word of God. And we were, we're not discouraged. We waited patiently because God says we must, we, must, we must wait on him and persevere. So we persevered and we waited. 